Hey everybody, in this video, we will explore Kolama, which is the easiest way to run Ulama models directly in free Google Colab. All right, so Ulama is a free and open source tool that lets anyone run open LLMs locally on your system. So it supports Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. All right, so it helps you to run 80 local models and it's free. All right, so with just a few lines of simple Python code, you can run any Ulama model effortlessly. So I'm going to guide you how to do this step by step. All right, so let, we are going to head over to the Colab. So here you type colab.research.google.com. And the next thing to do now is, so since by default, the runtime type of Colab instance is CPU based, so in order to do that, we need to go to runtime and change this to T4 GPU. So I'm gonna hit save. All right, so the next thing is to install these dependencies. So we need to update that and we need to also change. So this is required to by Ulama to detect the GPU type. And here, the installation of Ulama in the Runtime instance will be taken care of by this curl, right? So this curl command is going to take care of the installation of Ulama. So we're going to run this. Just give it some time. Okay, so I'm going to kill this out. Going to close it. So let's run it. Okay, so whilst you run, you can check your resources by going to view resources. And you can see your system RAM, your GPU RAM, and your disk. So you can check which resources and the amount of resources that is being taken. Right. So let's go back. All right. So we have that installed, and it gives us a warning. So we have our NVIDIA GPU installed. Lama API is now available. So right, so it's now available, and right. So install complete. So Lama run from the. So we have run Lama from the command line. So the next thing is we are going to run this. So this is so in order for in order to use Lama, it needs to run as a service in the background, which is parallel to the script. So because these notebooks, um, the collapse, because it's built to run code blocks in sequence, it is difficult to run two blocks at the same time. So the workaround is we create a service that uses the sub process in Python. So it, help, it helps it not to block in itself from running. All right, so we need that to so service so we are going to use that the service can be started by the Olama serve. So this Olama serve is going to help us with that. All right. So the time, time to sleep here is just to delay so that Olama service can run and download the model. All right. So the next thing to do is let me run this. All right, so we have that run. So the next thing is to pull the model. So I'm, I am pulling the Llama 3.2 model. So you can pull, instead of the Llama 3.2, you can use any local model that you would need. So I'm going to run this. So now it's pulling the Llama 3.2 model, which is pretty easy. Guys, this is so easy to run. So you can run any model in, in Olama, right? You can test it out with different models and see how this works. So let's give it some time. All right, so that is done. So now we are using Langchain with Ulama. So now Langchain is an open source framework designed to help developers build the uh, powerful applications, which leverages the LLMs. So it simplifies the process of connecting LLMs and 
to other external data sources and task specific workflow. So you can easily build workflows, you can build applications using Langchain. So we are going to implement that. So I'm going to run this to install Langchain with Olama. So let's give you some time and that is done. So now we are making use of Langchain and we are importing chat prompt template. We're going to pass some prompt and we are using Olama LLM and we are using a markdown. So we want the output to be in a markdown. Okay, so we pass the question, we, we pass the prompt and we pass this question into the prompt and that is passed to the chat prompt template. And we are using the Olama LLM. That is the uh, model from the Olama. So we are using 3.2 and we are piping up the prompt with the model. So we are passing a very simple example and we say what is the easiest way to lose weight. So I'm going to run this and we are testing that out. So you can use any use case. I mean, create examples and test it out with different use cases. So far as you've downloaded a model, that's it. You can use it for any purpose that you want to use. All right, so we have an awesome output, which is very, really great. So it comes down to losing weight. There are several strategies that can be affected. You set up realistic goals, understand your body, hydrate adequately, incorporate physical activity, get enough sleep, be consistent. Guys, this is awesome. This answer is great. The responses are perfect. And you just need some few lines of code. All right, so I'm going to attach this in the description so you can also run it. All right, so do try it out and let me know what you think about this. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. See you in the next one.